Local Weather Authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey everyone, real quick review of the winter outlook item and then we'll get right into this weather. This one called for another year with several of these clipper systems. They move in very quickly, bring some wind, light precipitation. We had 10 of them actually. We had a lot of those uh, this winter. So there's my outlook uh, record. We'll continue to track along. More information coming up again tomorrow. All right, let's get into this. Yellow shaded areas all the way from Ohio to Indiana to Illinois, all the way down to Dallas, Texas. That's a tornado watch, many different tornado watches. So this is a large event taking place now across the country and here at home the entire viewing area is under a tornado watch in Illinois you are under this until nine o'clock your time in Indiana it's a tornado watch until midnight our time so no matter where you are watching there is a tornado watch out there as these storms are developing right now the immediate area doesn't have much up to the north you see a little bit near interstate 74 but most of this has been developing off to the west and moving this way it's going to take you in real close to give you an idea this would be the western part of our viewing area this would be the Charleston area back here so out to the west of Charleston we do have a tornado warning warning in effect there, a hail up to about one to three quarter inch in diameter. These storms have a history of producing some large hail today. These are all moving to the east at about 45 miles per hour. Look at these storms down here to the south. All kinds of lightning in those and also Looks like also a confirmed tornado was just south of the St. Louis area a little bit ago, and then you can see additional storms to the southwest. All of these are moving off to the northeast, so you can see the movement. And by the way, any of these orange boxes, those are severe thunderstorm warnings, and the red boxes, those are tornado warnings. So all kinds of warnings out there, but you see the movement off to the north and to the northeast, so just now starting to get into some of our western counties. Here's the timing on this, between 6 p, about now, and 2 a.m. I don't think this is going to go deep into the overnight, but up until about 2 o'clock, and that's our eastern counties. This is the time that we're going to be watching. All hazards are possible. Hail is probably the biggest concern, but some wind, and we can't rule out a couple tornadoes. We've seen a couple back in western Illinois, so again, we'll be keeping an eye to the sky now until a little bit after the midnight hour, it looks like, as those storms move this way. Warm temperatures after showers and storms move through early in the day. We rebounded up to 73 degrees for the daytime high. We didn't get a whole lot of rain with the first little area that came through only two tenths of an inch here. There was some areas of some small hail, but nothing major. And those that came through during the late morning, early afternoon. Terre Haute right now has recovered back to 74 degrees. <clears throat> Pressure 29.80 and holding steady. Temperatures right now pretty much in the 70s, so it's very warm. Look at the blow up of moisture down here and advancing to the northeast. So that's the area we're looking at now, Missouri and the southwestern Illinois. You can see the movement clearly off to the northeast. Here's a closer look. And again, you can kind of see all of this moving in our direction. Uh, it's going to be probably, mm, I would say, very soon. We're going to see some of these now getting into our western counties. So again, we take you back in and you can see up to the north we've got some. But the timing on this, people have been asking, I put this 103 in there. That's about how many miles that area is to the southwest of Effingham to the state line near Terre Haute. And they're moving at about 45 miles per hour. So that would put them at the state line, at least that area, at about 8 o'clock eastern time. Now, they're going to be a few that pop in advance of it, but the main area looks like close to 8 o'clock uh, eastern time as it gets close to the state line. And we'll take you in once again and show you. We do have showers and storms uh, advancing in front of the main cells, but you can see the main cells are still off to the west of this area and also just to the southwest of Effingham. Effingham is right here and a lot of thunderstorms with some hail and lightning off to the southwest of there. So everything moving in this general direction, you can kind of see the movement places it up into this area in the next couple of hours. So again, this is what we're watching closely. The risk is there for severe weather. Obviously, we'll be keeping a close eye on the sky between now and about 2 a.m. So for tonight, showers and storms, some of those severe early, 46 the low. As we head into the day tomorrow, it's all over. Cooler weather, but no more big storms. Daytime high of 58. And then after that, the weekend actually doesn't look so bad now. Daytime highs will be holding probably around 60 or so. It looks like much colder on Monday, though, with a high of only 41. That's your forecast. Sports after the break.